Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. First off, I want to apologize for the video from yesterday's video. Um, They patched that joint as soon as we put the video out on how to get yourself a new player, a new free player. And uh, I had been doing it all day. Like, I literally did it all day to the tune of like 175,000 or something like that. And um, got my player all the way up. And they patched it by the time I got back on yesterday evening. But the video wasn't really about that. It was really about me. Uh, uh, about me. Woo, look at that. Put him in the spin cycle. Right. It was about me and my new player, dude. I am in love with this guy. I don't think that I'm gonna go back to my small forward. Uh, like I said, the, the, the guy, the building I'm using is a, and you might have just seen me put him in the spin cycle. I don't even have any post uh, post spin or any of that stuff yet. Rebounding is on these guys is trash, but you can just box out for rebounding if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you can box them out far enough away from the rim. But this is a two-way stretch five, so I have a defending uh, stretch five. And uh, he's 7'3", 315 pounds. Man, when I tell you that this makes the park so much easier because I actually know what I'm doing at center. Like, I don't have to worry about the mistakes that the average center makes. Let me put his ass in the spin cycle again. Woo, well, well, nope. Oh, which way did he go? Oh, spin, back! Look, dog, if I can pull off these moves and just, the main thing with being a center is you just gotta be patient. Your, your opponent is gonna give you exactly what you want in the post. You just have to wait. And if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. You just gotta kick it out. But I really like this dude just because I get to completely try to nullify other centers. Now, this was a very, very difficult matchup for me because I don't have my lateral quickness all the way up, as you guys saw, and I'm not that fast. But this guy is a slasher and a uh, three-point shooting slasher. So that means I have to not only defend him on the three-point line, but if he gets a step, I'm done. So um, I think he already had a couple of points. Oh, look, look, he's like he shot out of cannon right here. He's already on fire. But at this point in time, I had figured out what I need to do against him. Just got to keep him from uh, keep him from getting that that initial uh, takeoff. But like I said, man, I played with this guy. We played Pro-Am. We played Trades Up. Break down. We played... Um, I played Pro-Am, I played everything. Man, why didn't y'all tell me about uh, uh, the ordinary Pro-Am as a center, how how it makes it look like you got destroyed because, whoo, he came in there and got funky on me. It can make it look like you got destroyed because if your team keeps taking bad shots, you're not getting an offensive rebound in Pro-Am. You might get one, maybe two offensive rebounds in Pro-Am, but you're not gonna get that many. So they just keep getting, you know, rebound after rebound. If you take, oh, I got both of y'all. Right, left hand on him. Uh, I guess I must have been on fire there by that time, so they, they really couldn't do anything. Like I said, I'm doing the most elementary moves because I've just now started using the center. But why didn't y'all tell me if you play if you play on uh, pro am? Man, it makes it look like you just got destroyed on the boards because people just take the dumbest shots imaginable and um and they get a bunch of defensive rebounds and the other center just be like they thinking they hooping, but they really not hooping. That team makes just taking bad shots. Trades up. Splash down, get him out of here! Anyway, man, like I said, this is my first game with this guy, and uh, I went six for six. And I, like I said, it's not like I was playing in the top-notch competition. I didn't like how a lot of people saw me playing this morning. I had a 77, Man Man Grind Hard had a 77, and a lot of people tried to pull up. A lot of people got, got dropped, but I ain't gonna lie, that dude Savage, he dropped me off. But it was only because we couldn't hit no shots, though we still had a chance to win that game. I can't really say he dropped me off as much as he came out there with like a 90-something, and then we got 77s. Man, man can't move because he, he had his player. I can't I can't dribble the ball. We had to depend on Sauce. And Sauce was brick. Look, Sauce won a four. He was bricking this morning. When have, you, when have you ever seen Sauce won a four? Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, first game about six for six, two for two from three, uh, 14 points, five rebounds, man. I think this is going to be a breeze. What y'all think, man? I don't know, man. I mean, I be asking myself what I'm on. Uh, I think it's a pretty good bill. I know that any center can get bullied inside. If y'all got any tips on how to not get bullied inside, like, I don't think, like, I can keep people from getting in there because I throw them out of the paint and I do everything. But when the center actually decides to put his back to the basket and just, just you know, do you like Shaq, you can't pull the chair on that because you can only pull the chair when the, before he gets the ball. So is there anything I can do about that? Or is it just something that everybody's just gonna, it doesn't matter if, you play, if you're playing against an athletic finisher or somebody that's a post score or something, they, they're, just, they're just gonna push you into the uh, goal because strength really doesn't matter that much. 
I don't know, man. I need you guys to tell me. But anyway, two way stretch. Uh, five. If I find another, if I find another VC method other than the one minute quarters, uh, that'll be in the description. So I'll tell you how to do that. But uh, if I find a VC method other than that, I will let you guys know, and I'll build another character. But I'm not putting any more money into the game. So y'all, y'all just take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, this center thing, this about to be a breeze, and I'm out. Peace.